This is a tutorial on using the Early Intervention Practitioner Coaching Log. When you first open up the coaching log, you'll have a couple of tabs down at the bottom. If there is a tab that you cannot see, there are arrows right here. And so the right arrow will help you scroll to the right so that you can see more of the tabs. If you can't see them, you can also adjust this bar here by clicking on where the three dots are and then moving that um, either to the right or the left. So you might be set this way and then you'll need this to click on this arrow in order to scroll to the right. And then the other arrow will scroll you back towards the left. And then you can adjust this bar to kind of show you all of those tabs by just holding down your left button on your mouse and then dragging that towards the right or left. So when you first open up your log, you'll have your instruction tab and on your instruction tab it will have my information, my email, a link to this tutorial, and then it'll have some basic instructions on how to record your data and the data entry tabs and then what you would record in each cell. So each of these, each tab is for one early interventionist and so you have room on the spreadsheet to enter up to 20. So if you're a coach and you have more, you're coaching more than one um, early interventionist, then you can use this one spreadsheet and then one tab would be for each one. So clicking on the first tab, what you would first enter is the ID for the early interventionist and then you would put in how many action plan goals um, you initially have written. So you may start off with one goal, you may start off with more than one, so you would type that number into here. And so then you would come down to your first section which is your cycles and so this first cycle you would select the number one so you have room to enter up to 53 cycles so you would do cycle one each cycle might occur each cycle might have multiple dates within it so you have up to five rows to enter um, that data for that cycle so you enter the date and then you enter a yes a why if that occurred during that date you can leave blank if it did not occur or you can select no so it's up to you you can do why you have to do the why for yes and then for no you can either s put the n or you can leave it blank either way it doesn't matter so you enter the observation strategies and then the total observation time for your observation strategies so if you have multiple dates and multiple observation strategies for those dates you would keep a running total of the time so if you this first date you did 10 minutes then the next row you have another date and you did 20 minutes so the first date you would put 10 and then now the second date you would add the 20 to the 10 and then you'd enter 30 here so this is the total time across all of your dates where you used one of the strategies listed here. Then if you had um, any debris strategies then you would do the same thing you would select yes or no or leave blank and then again the total debriefing time for the cycle so across all of the dates that you've entered the total time where you used any debriefing strategies so this is a running total so for example on the second cycle on August 14th reflective conversation on August 16th supportive feedback so maybe on the 14th reflective conversation was only 20 minutes and then on the 16th supported feedback was for 25 minutes then you would add that up and put your 45. The next column, you don't do anything here. This is just a check to kind of let you know. Did you complete an observation? Yes. Did you complete debrief? Did you debrief? Yes. If you completed um, 
your focus observation, you complete the debriefing, then you'll get this little green message that says that the cycle is complete. If you did not complete one or the other, then it'll highlight red. So in this, in cycle two, you complete, you debriefed, but you did not complete any observations. So the cycle two is incomplete. In cycle three, observations were completed, but debriefing was not, the cycle is incomplete. And so that's what this here shows you. Based on what's here, it informs the message you get here. So um, cycle two is not complete, and that's why underneath cycle three, it says caution, the previous cycle is incomplete. And so now you know that cycle two is not complete. You did not have both observation strategies and debriefing strategies. So this this um, message here, the caution previous cycle incomplete, is the default. And as you enter data, then it'll disappear if you had a complete cycle um, in the previous, or it will stay lighted, um, which is the case here. So cycle one is complete because under cycle two there is no message. The cycle two is not complete because there is a message here. If you scroll over, then we have the action plan goals. So for cycle one, how many action plan goals were completed? And so here you can select not applicable, means you did not complete your action plan goals, or you can select um, from one to 10. And then were any new action plan goals created? You select yes or no. And then if you selected yes, how many new, new goals were created? And then you can select one. So in cycle one, we did not complete the, the action plan goal that we started off with. We did create a new one. We created one more. So we know that we're working on two goals. During cycle two, no action plan goals were completed. No new goals were um, added and this stays blank. And then you continue uh, filling out your log as you have more, um, more visits. And so that's how you would do the entry on this, on for each um, tab. So for each early interventionist, that's how you would enter that data. Then what you have at the end are the summaries. So you have summaries for each individual early interventionist. And so what you, what you're looking at on this purple tab is each person, each individual person that you're coaching. So all of the IDs that you have will be listed here. The zero is just the default so that you should never select that. You'll have um, the ID that you entered. So this ID is gonna match the ID that you typed up here. So the summary shows you that one, um, the one ID. And then the total number of action plan goals written, it'll summarize it here. So for this, this person, there were two action plan goals written, none were completed, and the percentage of completed is zero because we haven't completed any. And then here you'll have a chart that shows you that you have one goal written, none are completed, the percent completed is zero. So every time that you enter data, usually the data refreshes itself, but there is a message here that tells you to go ahead and refresh it. It's just good practice. So you can click on the table here, and then a new you might have a new tab show up, or it might already be there, where it says Pivot Table Analyze. Go to Refresh, Refresh All. And that just makes sure that any data that you've entered is refreshed. You can also go to Data and go to Refresh All. So those are two different ways to do that. So you have those charts, you have that table, and then you have a summary of the number of attempted cycles. So for this individual, M01, three cycles, three attempted cycles. Out of those attempted, only one cycle was complete. So 33% of the cycles were completed. The total duration across focused observations was 100 minutes. The average duration across those three attempted cycles was 50 minutes. The total debriefing duration, that's across all three, was 65 minutes, and the average debriefing duration was 32.5. So it'll give you a summary like that. Then it'll look at your observation strategies. So across all of your visits for this one early interventionist, 
what kind of strategies were used. So 33% observed live, 33% viewed a video recording, and 33% collected data. So it'll show that in a table, so across all of your visits, how, uh, what's the percentage of um, each strategy, and then it has it uh, graphed here. Then you have debriefing strategies, the same thing. So across all of your um, debriefing meetings, how many, um, what's the percentage of each strategy used? So 25% reflective conversation, 25% supportive feedback, 25% constructive feedback, and 25% goal setting action planning. So, and then it'll chart that as well. So it'll give you both of those charts so that you can see um, kind of what are the strategies that are being used for this specific person. If you want to look across all of the um, practitioners, then what you have here is a coach summary. So that totals across everyone um, that you're coaching. It'll show you how many action plan goals are written across everyone, how many um, goals were completed, and the percent of action plan goals completed. So this is across everyone. And so here in this coach name, you might change this to your coach name, or you might just leave it like that, but you can change that. Just type in uh, what your name is or your ID. Then from these tables, you get these charts here. And then below that, it's the same kind of summary. So across everyone, um, how many attempted cycles, how many completed cycles, and uh, percent of completed cycles, total duration, average duration. So it kind of gives you as a coach, you know, um, how many total cycles have you done? How long, how much time and focused observations, um, average time, average debriefing time. So it gives you across everyone. And then what kind of strategies are you using across everyone? So this would give you the table and then it would give you the uh, bar chart. And again, what kind of debriefing strategies are you using across all of the, um, the people that you're coaching? So these are all the debriefing strategies you've used and then the table for that. And then this cumulative data just is a table that gives you um, just that cumulative across all of your, your, um, your early interventionists. So that would n is not really used. It's only used if there is um, a summary across all coaches and then in that case then this is when you would use this but if there's not going to be a summary across all coaches then this is not um, important um, all that information is here in um, in this tab in the coach summary and then uh, you can get that there so again if you have any questions while you're using the spreadsheets on the instruction tab is my name and my email, feel free to reach out and let me know if you have any questions.